we're looking at an object system. In an object system, we have objects. What are objects? How are they stored? How are they referenced? What sort of special formats are there for special objects? And then how do we handle very large objects in a gemstone system? So Alan Kay coined the term object-oriented. Alan Kay is the creator of Smalltalk. He was describing a tiny computer combining data and behavior. So rather than just a data structure or a struct in C or some of these other languages, the analogy is to a cell in biology. The smallest unit of life encapsulates resources and instructions in a cell, and aggregating them, you can make a very complex system. So the human body is made up of 100 trillion cells. So a very complex organism made up of very small, tiny parts that are encapsulated to hide the complexity. This is the vision for objects in small talk. But of course, that's how we think of it. How is it implemented? Well, in any system, objects are going to be implemented as a chunk of memory. But it's a chunk of memory that has some special attributes with it. First, there's a class reference. So with the object memory, we identify what, object, what class this is an object of. And that will describe the memory layout for the attributes. And the class provides the behavior for message sends. So as we send messages to objects, uh, the class tells us how those <coughs> messages are interpreted, what behavior exists. Attributes with an object, each object can have attributes defined by the class, and the attributes can be either primitive data types or references to other objects. And of course, even if it's a primitive data type, it looks in small talk like an object, but the implementation internally, as far as it being just a chunk of memory, it could be a primitive object or a basic object, and then references. So how do we reference another object? That's the next question. Well, there's a couple ways of doing it, and different small talks handle it differently. We'll look at uh, both of them. First, there's a pointer, an address of a chunk of memory. So an object reference can simply be the location in memory of the object. It's simple, it's direct, it's quick to look up, but it's difficult to move the target because you have to fix all the references. If the object moves, then all the pointers have to be updated. There's a risk of memory fragmentation. So if you allocate a chunk of, ob a chunk of space here for an object, allocate another one, and then free this one, that space is left unused. And unless you can find something that fits in that space, then you'll end up kind of wasted with fragmented memory, pieces of memory scattered in different places. And for a direct memory address to be meaningful, the target must be present in memory, which of course means that you can't unload it to disk. So that, again, is a characteristic of a pointer, but still fast, direct, quick. The other idea of referencing objects is through a handle. And this is, again, not just a small talk concept. If you've done programming in a variety of languages or operating systems, they will frequently use this concept of a handle. It can either be a pointer to a pointer, in which case you just have a very small sequence where each handle then points to where the real memory is, or it can be an index into a table, just a linear table with indexes into it. Could be a key into a map or a dictionary. There's an extra level of complexity on the lookup, but it is more flexible because you can move the object. All you have to do is update one pointer in the handle. You can even unload it. Just say, 
This is a reference to an object. The object exists and has this identifier, but it's not present in memory right now. You could flag that in the table that lists things. So Gemstone actually uses both of these depending on the context. Now, Gemstone, the current modern version of it is 64 bits. So in a 64-bit system, we have eight bytes, room for lots, a, a very large number. And so our object identifier, it uses the full or uses parts of the 64 bits. The lowest three bits, the low order three bits, are flags. 000, zero, zero means that it's an in-memory object pointer. And the neat thing here is that if you're working in 64 bits, then pointers should be on an 8-byte boundary. And so any 8-byte boundary will have 000 as its address for its low order 3 bits. And so here you can just say any object reference that ends in 000 is in memory. And the rest of the number is just a pointer to that object. So we can just reference an object directly. 001 is not a valid memory address if we're on 64-bit uh, boundaries. And so that's saying we're not an in-memory object, but we're an object in the object table. So in Gemstone, we implement a table, linear list, of object identifiers and information about them. So there's x, there's 40 bits that give us an index into the object table. And that gives us room for 10, 2 to the 40th, or 1 trillion objects that we can reference in a 40-bit identifier. So we have room for 1 trillion objects. So that takes care of you know, a couple identifiers. 